Morocco's top tourist attractions range from Grand Roman ruins to orange-toned mud-brick Kasbah architecture, which makes it one of North Africa's most interesting historic destinations. While the souks of Marrakesh and Fez, crammed to the brim with local artisan and crafts, have made it one of the world's best places to visit for shoppers, head out of the cities, and a Moroccan trip becomes an adventure into some of the region's most dramatic scenery. In today's video let us have a look at top 10 best places to visit in Morocco. At number 10. Bab al-Mansur in Meknes. This mammoth gateway, which guards the entrance to Meknes Imperial City District leading from Meknes Medina, is noted for its intricate decoration. Meknes is a monumental reminder of the Sultan's might, the Bab al-Mansur is a magnificent relic of Meknes glorious era as capital of Morocco. It's widely regarded as Morocco's grandest and best preserved gateway. At number 9. Erg Shigiga. Covering around 40 kilometers, the Erg Shigiga Dune Field is the largest in Morocco. Due to being farther southeast than the more famous Erg Chevy, and hence less accessible on a short Morocco trip, this vast sand sea of mammoth Saharan dunes attracts less crowds. The major base for Erg Shigiga excursions is the oasis town of Mamid, from where you can head out into the desert on four WD tours and multi day camel treks to overnight amid the dunes. Be aware that Mamid is still around 55 kilometers away from the Erg Shigiga dune field, so to reach it in one day from town, you'll need to take a 4 WD tour. At number 8. Dadas Valley. Hikers, trekkers, and general nature lovers shouldn't miss a journey into the Dadas Valley, one of the High Atlas region's most picturesque spots. With the snow-capped peaks of the High Atlas in the distance, the slow-paced rural life here is the perfect antidote for those who have been getting frazzled nerves amid the souks of Marrakesh and Fez. At number 7. Volubilis. Morocco's number one Roman-era ruin, and its most famous historic site, is a feast for history lovers. This rambling site is packed full of tumbled columns and temple remnants, standing as reminders that even the greatest empires eventually crumble. The major highlight here, though, is the clutch of intricate mosaic floors amid the ruins, which have been left in situ where they were unearthed. At number 6. Essaouira. Morocco's most charming seaside town is laid-back Essaouira, which became one of the country's major hippie hangouts during the 1970s. Today a hint of this bohemian past hangs on, and the town is one of Morocco's artistic centers, with a thriving local art scene. At number 5. 8 Ben Hadou. This golden stone adobe kassar, fortified village, thrusts dramatically out of the earth amid scenery that wows all who visit. It's a fairy tale place, and unsurprisingly the orange-hued turrets and curvy lanes inside have become a favorite film location for Hollywood due to the surreal beauty of the place. You can even sleep within the Kassar if you want the full 8 Ben Hadou experience, though those who like their creature comforts should be aware that there's no electricity within the mud brick walled building itself. At number 4. Fez El Bali. Compared to its sister imperial city to the south, Fez is much less gentrified. The Medina here, called Fez El Bali, is a maze of skinny, back alleyways where it's near impossible to not get lost. Amid the souks area, you'll find the tanneries, where the huge vats of colored dyes are one of the city's iconic sites. As well as the city's artisan heritage, with souk streets full to the brim with traditional handicrafts, and the scatter of palaces and monuments hidden amid the twisting streets, the main attraction of Fez El Bali is simply heading out on aimless wanders amid the lanes. At number 3. Erg Chebi's Dunes. To see Morocco's Sahara dune fields, you need to head east of the High Atlas Spine to the far eastern desert region that sits near the border with Algeria. The most popular destination for grand and rippling sand dunes is Erg Chebi. This is prime territory for dune surfing, four-wheel drive dune bashing, and sunrise and sunset camel trekking, usually combined with an overnight stay in a tented desert camp right amid the dune field. Simply sitting amid the sand dune splendor, and experiencing the star-filled Sahara sky at night, is worthy enough of the long journey it takes to get here. Many travelers book a desert experience package, which includes return transport and an overnight desert camp stay, but you can also independently travel to Mertsuga and organize activities once there. At number 2. Shushawan. Sitting snug amid the lush reef mountains, Shushawan is a labyrinth hill town of blue-on-blue -blue buildings that has an incredibly photogenic glow. There isn't much actual sightseeing to be done, and that's one of the town's main attractions. 
A visit here is simply about wandering the Medina alleys and lapping up all that colorful architecture. It's a peaceful, easygoing town and a great place to recharge for a while if you've been spending a lot of time amid the cities of Fez and Marrakesh beforehand. This is also one of Morocco's main hiking and trekking destinations and a starting point and organization center for Reef Mountains Walks. At number 1. Marrakesh Medina. The bustling and vibrant buzz of Marrakesh Medina sums up Morocco for many visitors and is a major tourist attraction. The old city is entered from the vast plaza of Gemma Al Fina Square where, it seems, half the city converges throughout the day and into the evening to hang out with the stall vendors, traditional musicians, snake charmers, and random acrobats. Once inside the Medina itself, you enter a world of maze-like alleyways and shopkeeper hustle. It's an experience full of colorful and noisy local life and not to be missed on your Moroccan sightseeing trails. <laughs>